Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at Rajir's Rapier, a thrusting sword with optimal scaling and dexterity. So we are running it on a pure dexterity build. We have our 70 dexterity, netting us a damage output at 476. As for the rest of the stats, we have our 58 vigor. We have our 27 endurance because it's the minimum needed for the armor, weapons, and talismans I plan to use in the showcase today. And then the rest of the stats are just the starting class stats for the Vagabond starting class. As for the choice of talismans, I'll be using the Shard of Alexander to boost all the different Ashes of War I plan to use today. I'll probably start duels with the Ritual Shield Talisman though to boost the defense at first, and then so we get hit we can swap to the Shard of Alexander. We have the Spear Talisman because it does increase the counter attack damage on thrusting weapons, and we are using thrusting weapons, and then we have the Crimson Armor Medallion plus 2 for the HP boost, and the Urge Tree Saver plus 2 for the HP Stamina and Equip Load boost. As for the moveset, the light attack chain is pretty similar to all other thrusting swords. You just have the forward thrust light attack chain. The heavy attack, however, is a little bit unique. You get a double thrust, followed by another double thrust. Whether you choose to fully charge the animation or not doesn't really change the attack at all, but the damage output does become substantially higher the longer you charge it. And then we have the running light and the running heavy. They're both great. I tend to use the running heavy a little bit more, though, as it does do more poise damage. And then we have the jumping light and the jumping heavy. Pretty similar, although the jumping heavy has a little bit more of a delay. I still tend to use the jumping heavy a little bit more. I find it roll catches a little bit better, personally. As well as the backstep running attack, pretty similar to the regular running light. And then you have the rolling and the crutch attack, which is another quick thrust forward. As for the dual wield moveset, the dual lights come up pretty quickly, have some pretty good range as well, and if you're wearing an armor set with a decent poise, you can tank some of the lighter weapons in the game and trade through them to get the counter attack damage, which does pretty high damage. The running dual wield attack is a great chase down move as well. You have the double thrust, has some pretty good range. And then we have the jumping dual wield attack, which is a lot of consecutive thrusts. I feel like this setup could work very well with frostbite, poison, bleed, any status effect. I'll probably infuse these with frostbite as well, lightning and keen, and try all of them out to see which one I prefer. And then there's the rolling and the crouch dual wield attack, again, double thrusts. As well, these are regular smithing stone upgrade weapons, so you do have access to many different Ashes of War. I'm going to start off with Piercing Fang, and then in the offhand have Royal Light Resolve, just in case I want to buff one of my dual wield attacks. But yeah, that's all I really have to say about the weapon. Let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. All right, jumping into our first battle, we have Friendly Guy. Hello there. Right. I'd like to think myself as a friendly guy as well. Uh, we'll get our buffs going here. Oh, all right. Uh, power. I like to call that Power Within, but that's not its name. Oh, the parry on the curved sword. Okay, well. Uh, you can't parry a jump attack, though, so... I mean... <laughs> you gotta be careful. You can't parry that. And if I see you going for parries, that means I'm going for jump attacks. Or backstabs. Oh, that would have been a beautiful one, honestly. Backstab! There we go! This is doing the honor uh, to the thrusting sword class. Getting beautiful backstabs as it should. He didn't go for it, though. Oh, I want to trade with that. I want to backstab that, though. <laughs> now I'm just like tied into the backstab here. <laughs> and we landed the piercing fang. Very interesting fight. His build has three different weapons too. He's going for the... I guess, I guess he's a strength build quality-ish maybe. I oh, know he used the, the bloodhound fang. So I guess dex quality. Alright, jumping into our next battle. We have Frost. Hello there, Frost. How are you, man? What the heck? What are we doing here? <laughs> what? <Hey! laughs> okay, that's, a, that's an interesting uh, start. Oh, I just realized. Oh, I do have my. I do have my uh, flask ready. Okay, so he's got the blight build up. Interesting. Wonder how much poise he has. The running heavy was enough to stagger him. I feel like that's a parrying dagger or something. Something with parry. Yeah, <laughs> it was. I see it. I'll go for the unique heavies. They're a little bit harder to get a read on. Into the jump heavy as well, maybe. Alright, so he, I don't think he switched weapons. <laughs> this is an interesting fight. Ah! On a max step parry. <laughs> ah, reverse max step. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Almost. Oh! 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 That was a good back step. Bring me back to my DS3 days. <laughs> Having a thrusting sword is inspiring me. Very fun fight though, Frost. Alright, jumping into our next battle, and we, we have Nem Ektora. Hello there, sir. Also decided to go with the Frost infusion for the battle. We have the Glimblade Phalanx and the Pebble, and then we're gonna go with our buff. 
And he's got some sort of defense buff. And he's got his flask, and he's going all out. Even more defenses. All right. <laughs> uh, I think I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, so, regen build pyro. Interesting. Let's try and trigger that so it doesn't hit us. Okay. Because that will do pretty good damage. I want to see how fast we frostbite as well. I think there was only one hit there that actually connected to... I don't think he'll expect this. Not as much range as I would have hoped. <laughs> Blessed blade. That's pretty cool. Oh, that animation is so long, though. He almost got hit twice from the pebble. And even though the pebble doesn't combo anymore, it's kind of like a really good long-range punish, so... Not the worst. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to hit me, but it did like a double dodge. So he's got, uh, Catch Flame as his start, I guess. Can I backstab just an R1 of that? Okay, that's good. That would, that would honestly be bad. Can't parry that. <laughs> we can chip it, though. Ah, uh, yeah, they're running heavy stunned him. Oh, and now he needs FP. Okay. Unfortunate. Oh, I think that might hit. Very fun fight, though, man. Honestly, good setups for trying to trade with the Colossal. Moving on to our next battle, and it is Link. I really wonder if there will come a day where I don't see Link at this point. It's become such a staple for me. <laughs> hello there, Link. Uh, probably doesn't recognize me. But hello there. Uh, so, let's see. He's got his great sword, his banished night love. Try and hit him with a long range pebble. Maybe a backstab. Oh, that was a good trade for Link, actually. Try to get a frost. Yeah, I think we got the proc there. I landed a few ghost hits. Oh, the. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. he's also got some frostbite buildup. I like it. Nice dodge, Link. Nice. I have my offhand Ash of War here that you might not expect. We're going full wizard. <laughs> Try and get the roll catch. We did not. Almost a good jump attack there, though, Link. Almost hit a really hard hit. He does have the poise to tank, I think, everything but heavy attacks on the rapier. So we'll probably use those a little bit more. Lights will get traded into. This regen's doing well, too. Oh, I tried to get him with the roll catch there. Oh! Magma! I like it. I'm trying to stand on the magma is a good idea. Oh, good jump attack as well. Oh, I would have panic rolled. You would have got a roll catch there. Oh, we hit both of the parts of the R2. Very fun fight, Link. I love the use of the double great swords. All right, jumping into our next battle, we have Rock. Hello there, sir. Hey. Hello. I like the armor sets. And for this battle, I'm also trying out the Crag Blade Ash of War. Gives us an AR boost and makes the opponent more likely to break their stance. So I wonder how much uh, poise damage it adds. All right, get our buffs all going. I look like a complete buff build here. Got my crag blades on my, my thrusting swords here. Let's see. I want to see how an R1 does. Okay, you can still poise through it. That was just mostly a test, but... Oh! We did stagger him on the second one. So that's cool. So I bet you... I don't know what his poise level is, but that's pretty poise tanky armor. So. We didn't hit that. I don't know how long this lasts either, so we don't... Oh, not that long, apparently. <laughs> We're just doing face trades with the great sword. The running R2s always work. But it didn't make a light attack break his stance, so. <laughs> when you jump the buff. <laughs> That'll look cool. Alright, get our crack blade back. Whoa. Okay, definitely not worth. Definitely not worth. Didn't think it took that long. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention at the start. <laughs> Very fun fight. But, uh. It's interesting. Yeah, I never really used this Ash of War. That was actually my first time testing it, really. <laughs> Moving on to our next opponent, we have Wretch. Hello there. Hey. With Morgoth Sword. All right, so we're running a Arcane build over there. I see. I see. Get your buffs on. Um, are you good? You're oh no buff. Okay. The bees. Can I roll through the bees or? Oh, he's like a full. Bleed. Oh, a little bit of pack. I lost, but it's fine. He's got the beautiful Mogwin Spear. It is a beauty. 
seems to like to stay a little bit of a distance, so we do have a punish for that. And wow, that did a lot. Oh, that was a bad choice, man. Oh, okay, he rolled out of it. I thought, I thought it would take a little bit longer on the recovery, to be honest. That seemed like it would have been a good punish. We'll go for the L1 here. The running R2 is a great opener, and then we can roll a catch with the L1. Oh, only one of them hit. Okay. Unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, well, very interesting battle. It's unfortunate that uh, they pack it lost at random moments. But interesting fight. I haven't seen the Mogwin Spear a lot, actually. Alright, jumping into our final battle, and we have Lord of Cinder. I like it. Rocking a cosplay. Hello there, sir. <laughs> Alright, let's get our buff on. Nice. Probably a faith build. Okay, we're good to go. I want to crack that bubble. Because I don't know what kind of damage you're going to do. Not a lot of poise, though. Oh, wow. That was beautiful. I wasn't expecting the flaming strike there, but that works so well on the cosplay. <laughs> Thank God I didn't get hit by that. Oh, my God. It's so good. <laughs> Dark Souls 1 flashbacks. <laughs> Amazing build, man. <laughs> I love it. All right, now let's just see how this performs in the invasions. All right, jumping into our first invasion, and we're in the mountaintop catacombs. Oh, this place is confusing. I remember running through here. Good thing it spawned me close. Hello there. Oh, that's a trap. <laughs> that almost worked well for me, though. That was beautiful. Hello there, guys. Let me just throw an urn at you. Let's do 567 damage. <laughs> Power of dex builds and lightning urns, man. It's beautiful. <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you? <laughs> you had him waiting in the corner. I know the treachery. <laughs> I'm all about the surprise attacks. <laughs> okay, we took a trade there. Um. Oh, and he, he quit out. <laughs> wow. Wow, all right. Oh. Right, jumping into our second invasion it was what I was going to say, but uh someone died right here, you know, they probably fell off. That's fair. This area is pretty uh dangerous. Alright, jumping into the third invasion. Hopefully it's not a, a quit out or is someone dying before I get there. Oh, Mr. Mage. Alright, my mage. Alright, my mage. I think they're in this tunnel. My lightning, I don't know how effective it's gonna be in here, so we're gonna use Royal Knight Resolve probably. Or, we'll see. Maybe I buffed a little early. I thought I was close to them. Well, there's a rat. Whoa. Okay, well, the rat wouldn't be running away. Wait, that is them right there. Sneaky mage. What did you do? Oh, you buffed. Oh, okay. That ain't that sneaky. Will this lightning work in here? Yeah. It will. Okay. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. Kamehameha! I'll just come in once that's done. <laughs> Sorry. The camera in here is interesting. My lightning bolt! Face it! <laughs> fall on the mage. Wait, where'd he fall? He fell here, and then he went this way. Can't lose track of him, these tunnels. They are confusing. I'll just take the shortcut. <laughs> so you can just jump. You don't want me trapped in here with you. You don't want it. <laughs> I'll take you down, though. I'll bring you to the next grace point. <laughs> All right, jumping into the possible final invasion, if it's a fight. Toxic virus. Hello there, toxic virus. Hello. He thought, I don't know what he thought was about to happen, but I'm ready. You don't have a teammate? Man, a lot of lone hosts as well. Oh, it's dual straight swords. I thought it was rapier. Okay, I'll take dual straight swords. I have quite a lot of damage on these when they do strike like that. Whee! Flame of red main. Whee! Dodge the flame of red main. <laughs> R2. Lightning bolt. <laughs> I tanked through it. That looked pretty cool. What are we changing to? Bloodhound Fang. We're backstabbing that. Hopefully. We missed. <laughs> Tried to backstab that. Alright, so he's got two different setups that he enjoys. We're just DPSing and... Oh, wow. These 
You don't want to trade with these. That was quite a lot of damage. <laughs> All right, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Rajir's Rapier. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilized throughout the showcase, and of course, keep throwing your weapon recommendations below. I really do like reading your recommendations. It's fun to see all the different weapons that I never use or think of. But yeah, until the next time, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye. Goodbye.